how to download Fortnite on PC, Mac and laptop is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the channel consider going down below and subscribing, I really do appreciate it and go and leaving a like. So in today's video I'm covering how to download Fortnite, it's a really good tutorial, I'm happy with how it came out and I go over all the necessary steps of all the steps of how to get it on your computer and you can start playing it. So yeah, let's jump straight into this, it's super easy, make sure it's right to the end so you don't miss a single step and let's do this, enjoy. As you can see we're now in the tutorial part of the video of what I'm going to go and show you how to download Fortnite on PC or laptop or Mac or whatever device you're on this works for all of them and I thought I'd make this tutorial just to clear a lot of stuff up because a lot of people believe you know you need to use Steam um, or another launcher to go and get Fortnite but no I'm showing you the full tutorial today so make sure you keep watching to find out. All you want to do is simply google Fortnite just like so and come here now there'll probably be an ad at the top I come down here where also Ekit Games Fortnite then click there and it will load you here. Now as you actually back there, there was a download button, ignore that, I'll show you the full steps. So before you click download, you actually need to make an account. So to do that, I'm gonna click sign in. And then as you can see here, do you already play Fortnite? I currently don't, so I'm gonna click no. And then it's gonna take us to the account creation page. Now here, you actually need to go and select how you like so much. You've got email, Facebook, Google, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, Nintendo, Apple. Personally, I'm just gonna use email. Um, it's just easiest for me. So now we're here, I'm going to go and fill in all my details and then we can go from there and make an account. So I've now filled in all the details and you have these selections down here. So if you'd like to receive news, surveys and specials from Epic Games, click there. But you do have to agree to the terms of service, which I've just read through. Then you can go and click continue. As you can see, it's just loading like so. And then you'll need to actually go and verify your email. So as you can see, please check your email and you need to go and get the code. So I'm going to go and open my mailbox and show you once we get there of the code, what it will look like and what you do with it. So the code will look something like this. As you can see, please verify your email address using the code below to complete account setup. So I'm just going to double click there, right click, copy, and we can come back here and we can just paste it in. Uh, if I come along to the first one and click paste, as you can see, paste it in, we can click verify email, and now it's just gonna make sure that that is our actual email address and confirm our account. Okay, so as you can see, we're now signed up and uh, you'll be now here. So as you can see, I've got tutorial tucker and you've got some account um, information here. So the next step is going to download the launch of a Fortnite, which is necessary to then go and get Fortnite. So there's basically something called the Epic Games Launcher, Epic Games Run Fortnite. So come up to the top right and click on download. And as you can see, now you've got to go and select your platform. So you've got PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, PC, Mac, Mobile. We're going for PC, Mac, and now we're here. So as you can see, you've got the options now for Windows, Mac, OS, and Android. I'm obviously on Windows, as you can see my mouse, and my download has started down here. And if you're on Mac, you go and click Mac, and it'll be a different installer because Mac run on a different software. So then what we'll do is click down here, and we're going to open this up. So as you can see, then you'll have this installer here. I'm just going to click Install. And we'll just run through this and now there's going to be a black screen where you have to go and just accept Windows security and my stream recorder does bot that out. So anyway, let's go and install this. It's going to do everything for you. There should be very, very few things you need to do during this process. And like I just showed you back there before I actually click next, you can choose where your location for the installation is. And I just wanted it on my um, hard drive. So I went for that. And as you can see, it's just copying all the files. This first download isn't too big. It's only about, I think it was about 40 megabytes, something like that but the next one will be a bit bigger for Fortnite and it will just install any components you don't currently have on your computer just like the right deck uh, and stuff like that. And now it's just disappeared and it's gonna be opening up. Now I've got this little Epic Games down here. As you can see, it's just downloading its update. So this is 400 megabytes. Obviously this will depend on when you follow this tutorial on what update you're gonna have to do, but it doesn't take too long to download um, and it will depend on your internet speed. And once it's done the download, it will then start the installation phase and it just disappeared like that. And hopefully now, so once it's finished, you then need to go and open up Epic Games by double clicking here on the icon on your desktop, or you can go and search for it in the search icon of Windows. And now it's gonna start launching it up. As you can see, mine is now loading. I'm gonna make this full screen just to show you. And now we need to go and sign in again using the account we created on the Epic Games website. So then I'm gonna go and sign with Epic Games here. And then I'm just gonna enter my email address and password. And then it's gonna click login once you've entered your username and password, and it's just gonna circle. As you can see, it's now preparing the Epic Games launcher, and we are now here. Now there is a few pop-ups over here on the right, but uh, my monitor isn't showing that. So as you can see, it's now loaded, and we're now on the Epic Games store. Now obviously, you know Fortnite is free, there is still a store on um on Epic Games. So to go and then download it, all you want to do is click get here. 
and as you can see it's now got this stage of where it's going to start loading the order simply because it's free um, don't worry and as you can see it's now ready to install so we need to then go to the library and we've got Fortnite here and you have any other games you've purchased on your account before so Fortnite just come and click on it here and now you've got to just agree to the user license so re just quickly read through this and um, just so you know what everything consists of I've already read through it so I'm gonna go and click I have read and agree with the end user license agreement and click accept and now you've got to go and choose where you would like it to install so personally I don't want it in my C drive so I'm gonna change that so I've now changed it and I'm gonna turn off the create shortcut and auto update I can do it myself then go and click install so now as you can see there's gonna be a please wait phase so simply wait for that and then the next part is it's going to stop the download so as you can see uh, you got this you don't need this for now it will take a minute and as you can see it's now initializing and it's installing and you can pause it by clicking on it but to go and see the process come and click on downloads and as you can see it's telling you how fast it is and the percentage it's done so currently it's on zero percent it's quite big as you can see it's 40 gigabytes and that's the download it's kind of being slow and yeah you get the rough idea so it's going to be 40 gigabytes at that speed and it's already done 100 megabytes and then once you've done that so then all you've got to do now is simply wait for it to download now this will take a while depending on your internet speed if it's faster obviously it's going to be a shorter time if it's slower it's going to be a longer time but it's obviously 40 gigs so that will take quite a long time you can obviously get an estimate of your internet speed by checking speed tests but also epic games do tell you your internet speed there and to speed this up there are some tips i'll quickly recommend the main tip is doing it overnight obviously that's like eight hours of you sleeping where the internet is going to be on low use as well so at the maximum speed but also i do recommend not using the internet on your computer while doing it because that will limit um the download speed on top of that but also if you just make sure your other devices are turned off not using the internet as well that's probably like the easiest ways to reduce your internet consumption which will then therefore increase the speed marginally but also do it at other off-peak times when if you're in like a more of an urban area the internet will be slower say in the middle of the day and the evening so i would recommend trying to do it overnight it's the fastest way and i hope this sort of helps you download it faster because 40 gigs is a lot to download all you need to do is go and click play and Fortnite will launch. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, go down below and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and comment if you've got any questions that you would like answering and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. And I think I could everything in this tool you should need to know to go and successfully download Fortnite. If there are other games you want to help downloading with, let me know and I'll make sure I do that very, very soon. I'm trying to daily upload and the whole channel, I'm sort of, I used to be more software based, but I'm trying to make it a huge, huge tutorial channel. Hopefully the bigger on YouTube so make sure you subscribe I do appreciate it and I really appreciate you watching this far check out more videos for awesome tutorials and I'll catch you in the next one peace